Alright, so if you're having problems with the radio, uh, not hearing any radio frequencies that you have tuned in, for example, ATIS or Departure, whatever it may be, whether it be on VATSIM, IVEO, um, or as well as default ETC, there's a quick solution for the 757, 767, and 8220 to get this working. We're currently in the 757, so anything you do in the 757, you can also apply to the 767 as the radios are the exact same. We'll also be taking a look at the 777 as well, of course. So, head into the uh, flight deck, and uh, we've got ATIS tuned in here, which is Frankfurt ATIS 118.725. Of course, the engines wouldn't be running at this point, but uh, let's just ignore that for now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and select that active frequency. Well, the problem is I, you don't hear anything. And the reason being is that not only do you need to, um, to be able to hear something, you have to set your ACP, which is your audio control panel, up as well. So currently you can see that these are the receivers, which means you receive audio, and these are the transmitters, which means you transmit your voice. Um, so of course... You can see here that our left radio, which is this left VHF right here, is currently turned off. So all you need to do is turn it on, and you can see that instantly we get weather information. Also, you notice that if the audio knob is all the way to the left, that it also turns off because it simulates the audio. If it's all the way to the left, that means your audio is, of course, either off or at its lowest. So make sure that it's also turned up as you can see it also does not matter since we are only talking about the receiver it does not matter what you have your mic set up to but just keep in mind that whatever microphone setup you have set this to that is the radio that you'll be talking to so for in this case we're talking to i believe hf so high frequency left but we'd be talking to the high frequency uh radios that we have set in also, if you're on the first officer's side and you set your frequency to 118.725 or to the frequency that you're using, so let's do that right now. And you realize you don't hear anything either, even though you have your left frequency set all the way up. As you can see here, in my case, it's all the way up. Then that means that you need to change a setting in the, EF, in the EFB or in the tablet in order to let the aircraft know that you're actually the co-pilot. Uh, since it is hard to simulate two radio panels at once in a simulator, um, there is an option for you to change between a captain and first officer. So if you're the first officer and you realize that it doesn't work on this side, go to your EFB or your little tablet here and make sure that this is set, that the FO and control option is set on. And as you can see, once we turn it on, the FO panel will be then used um, in x -Plane. The same applies for the 767. So for the 8320, the concept is pretty much the same. In fact, this concept is very similar to pretty much any aircraft. There's always a radio, and there's always a an ACP, uh, which is the audio, and uh, th these are the receivers, and these are the transmitters. So, however, in this aircraft, there is no such option. At least we have not introduced an option yet where you can select between the two radios depending which should be the default. Of course, both the radios will work perfectly fine. However, what is not, what does not work perfectly fine is the two ACPs. Um, what I mean with that is that you have to use the left ACP in order to listen to things from the second radio. What I mean with that is you can easily tune a VHF2 frequencies in here and listen to them. However, you will need to have VHF2 also tuned in your ACP, but on the left side. So. Let me demonstrate first VHF-1, so you can see that VHF-1, I've set the ATIS frequency here in Frankfurt, it does not work, so simply just select the receiver, and you can then listen to the ATIS, for example, or anything, else, anything else with ATC. Now, we want to have, we want to listen to the ATIS on the second radio, however, because we have some important frequencies we've set here that we don't want to mess about with. So, very simple, just like the frequency we need to use or we want to use and um, make sure that the VHF2 receiver is set to on 
and then you can set this to active and you'll see that it works as well. Once I turn off the VHF2 receiver, you can see that it no longer works. So again, if you want to listen to audio from the ATC, you'll have to use the left ACP. The same thing goes for transmitting. However, you can use both radios simultaneously, if that makes sense. What I've said about the A320 being somewhat limited when it comes to the ACP, the same applies here with the 777. 777, however, is a very old model um, for X-Plane. So there's one less step you need to do, and instead of pressing on the receivers, which you can see have no click spots, click spots all you need to do is select the uh, mic switches or buttons in order to listen to what you want to listen to. <laughs> 